plants are awesome. Look at where we are. We just dove in and fleshed out the glorious world of green plants. And we took this branch in particular, the land plants, and really expanded it. It's like we pushed a button and it expanded it out to show us all the different kinds of critters within there. Please know, of course, that we can expand out any branch. We could take the ferns and go beep and expand it out into all the different kinds of ferns and how they're related to each other and what characteristics define the different branches. If we're going to look at fungi, we're going to stick over here in this branch. Now, we already kind of checked out the slime molds. They're pretty much phenomenal, but we're just going to focus in on the fungi. Now, um, we labeled land plants as multicellular. Not all fungi are multicellular. Um, yeast are a very important fungus to humans that are single-celled fungi. So they are technically protists. They're fungal protists, but they get included into this fungus group. So let's take a look at all fungus, so a characteristic of all fungi except for single-celled fungi, which is that really fungi are made of branches. Now, I for, can't forget that I can't draw on this, but they're like, they're made of tubes called hyphae, H-Y-P-H-A-E. And even the mushroom, like the part that you see, the mushroom isn't the bulk of the critter. The mushroom is its reproductive structure. And most of the time, the critter will stay underground, and it's just a net of tubes underground. The net of hyphae that are underground is called a mycelium, and that, like, crazy net. Dude, the biggest one that they found was, let me see, 37 acres. It was one fungus, and it had a net of tubes in the earth that was 37 acres big, and that was one critter. Now, often you disturb the hyphae, you disturb the mycelium in the ground, and then the critter says, oh, geez, looks like there's some kind of disaster coming. Let's make babies. And so it will push up its little fruiting bodies, which are the mushrooms that you are familiar with, and the mushrooms are what you eat, and the mushrooms are what produce the spores or the, the ability to make new fungi. So it's counterintuitive that the fruiting body is not the entire bulk of the uh, organism itself. Most of the organism is actually underground. Now we're going to look at some really cool examples of fungi because, I mean, you can't talk about any of this stuff without talking about Holy cool factor. They're, they're amazing.